So the first thing you're going to want to do for this DIY is to fill a bucket or a large tote, whatever you prefer. I used a bucket that was a little too small, but next time I will do it better. I just haven't had anything else on hand with me. So anyways, you want to fill it up with some warm water, not too hot, because this is what's going to be your base. And now the next thing you're going to want to add is a half a cup of baking soda, and then you're going to add a half a cup of vinegar. If you absolutely hate the smell of vinegar, you can add some freshly squeezed lemon juice that works perfectly fine as well. I like to add both just because I like the scent of lemon and I don't mind the scent of vinegar but I just prefer to add both. And what I do is I mix it around with my hand, there's no chemicals so it's not going to burn you. Now I do this method only about twice a year, usually like two times in the summer because that's the only time I use my white comforter. In the winter time I have a heavier tan comforter. So this works amazing on white without any chemicals so you cannot beat that. And yes, I kind of struggled a lot with putting the comforter in this bucket but like I said, I had to work with what I had. I wasn't going to go run out to the store and buy a giant tote. I'm also adding some lemon slices to the bucket because it was just the other half of the lemon so I didn't want it to go to waste. I'm also adding some extra vinegar to the top of my blanket since the bucket is so small and yes I am using the other half of the lemon as a little cup. What I like to do is I like to add it in some direct sunlight because we all know the sun helps bleach your whites which is kind of weird but it works really well and once when two or five hours pass I just take out the bucket which I kind of struggled a little bit with this. It is a little bit of a workout I'm going to warn you guys but it's so worth it towards the end and it's kind of like a free workout. It's not that bad. I just press on it, try to get the excess water out of the comforter, and then I do bring it to the laundry mat for an extra wash with no soap whatsoever. Just put it in there just so it can actually do its job with wringing it out better before putting it in the dryer. Like I said, I wringed it out pretty well because I had to drive to the laundromat to go put it in the washer and I didn't want water all over my car so that's why I wringed it out really well. If you guys have a washer and dryer at home, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> and then of course I put it in the dryer for 42 minutes, always on low and these are the results that you guys are going to get. I'm telling you, stains come out, it comes out super white and I just love the way my bed looks. Every time I do this, there's no smell, there's no lemon smell, there's no vinegar smell. It just whitens it and cleans your comforter. It's just amazing DIY and I really hope you guys try it out. If you do try this out on your whites, let me know on Instagram or even in the comments below if this worked for you as well as it works for me. But anyways you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye!